I'm Dr. Laurie Grossman, and I practice homeopathy. I'll start by telling you the story of how I discovered it, which was quite unexpected. I had a son that had a 105.5 degree fever, an infant son. I laid him down, and like all new moms, I was quite happy that he was sleeping a bit longer. But then I brushed upon his forehead, and I saw his head was ablaze. I called the pediatrician, I raced him over to the office, and fortunately for me, the pediatrician had some training in Europe, and he placed something that I had never heard of, something homeopathic, on his tongue, and within 10, 15 minutes, my son was absolutely fine. And um, as any new mom would do, I was just glad that the experience was over. I raced back home. But shortly after that, something else unexpected happened. I was walking down 96th Street in Manhattan, and I saw a piece, a flyer on a lamppost flapping in the breeze, and I looked at it and it said, classes in homeopathic medicine. And it caught my attention. And I thought, oh my goodness, that's just what they treated my son David with. And so I attended the class, and much to my surprise, I had to walk up five floors of a walk-up apartment. I walked in, and everybody was sitting on pillows, snacking on granola, and I thought, oh, this is a bunch of nonsense. And a physician started to teach the class, and he was presenting cases of ulcerative colitis and asthma and severe eczema. And one case after another had been, responded very well to homeopathy. And in many cases, they were a complete cure. And I looked around, and everybody seemed to expect this. These people had been studying it longer than me, obviously. And I was just dumbfounded. So I went up to the physician, and I said, where do you learn this? Now, mind you, this is many, many years ago. And the physician looked at me, and he said quite clearly, well, one place you can't learn this is the United States of America. And I was shocked, because I thought we had the best of all forms of medicine here. And such began a journey of mine, a quest, for lack of a better word, to really learn what homeopathy was and what it could do for people. And I spent a lot of time going to Europe, speaking to physicians from Greece, from England, from France, and then discovering many people who had been treated with homeopathic medicines in South America and even Asia. And I was shocked to find that this form of natural medicine without any side effects that really works to strengthen the immune system just wasn't available in the U.S. or practically not available in the U.S. And I wound up going for my own training. I wound up studying with many physicians from different countries and then was absolutely thrilled to be able to bring it to New York and share it with physicians and patients here in this city. After I graduated from Cornell University, I really wanted to expand my background. And the time was ripe. It was the early 70s, and new forms of medicine were first coming to the United States. So I took classes in just about every form of integrative medicine I could find be it chiropractic, be it um, hands-on healing, Reiki, iridology, color therapy, dance therapy. I took courses in almost everything I could find. But there was one thing that kept pulling me back to homeopathy, and that was the results were so striking. And it almost became a quest of mine to learn more, to learn with the best to sit with physicians who had years of practice under their belt, to go visit hospitals that employed homeopathy for a wide variety of different ailments. And I don't know, I love adventure. You'll never catch me jumping from an airplane. I'm not a skydiver, but this form of adventure really suit my personality. I really liked seeing people who had practically given up on experiencing good health or vibrant health, to see their lives just turn around when they almost were ready to just say, you know, it just was not meant to be. I mean, in my practice, I have so many families where I see four generations. I see grandma, mom, young child, and then the brand new baby. I mean, it's really a, a delight to know that 
I've been pulled into these families because they've seen changes in how well the young baby's health is, how the child is doing in school. They're, they're able to focus more clearly. They're able to retain more information. Their mood is more even when they go through adolescence. And when mom gets older, her hormones aren't so wild and scattered. You know, she's feeling good and strong in her body. And then as people age, they're able to hold on to good health and good function in all their organs for a whole lot longer. It's quite rewarding. And that's what feeds my passion. You know, I don't just have a practice, but I do a tremendous amount of teaching. I've taught in medical schools. I've taught in teaching hospitals. I've taught at JCCs, I've taught at Gilda's Club for women who um, are suffering from various forms of cancer, who use homeopathy to deal with some of the side effects of some of their treatments. And for me, it's delightful because I love working with different kinds of people. I love working with different kinds of conditions. And I love the camaraderie that you can build with a team of physicians and nurses and chiropractors or whatever different form of modality these professionals are using. It's wonderful that when we could reach out to each other.